Hey guys, Anthony from Finch PC Repair here today, and I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Asus P8 Z68 V Pro CG8565 1155 motherboard. I recently bought this motherboard off of Amazon for $68.99 flat. It was a used motherboard. As you can see in the top left hand corner, there's an 8 pin CPU power connector, which is blue, and a 3 pin fan header. You can also see there are some very nice heat sinks going over the MOSFETs and um, voltage regulators next to the CPU socket. This motherboard does have all solid state capacitors on it. Also, if you're looking right here next to the CPU socket, the two white slots are two four pin CPU and system fan headers. Go down a little bit right here. In the top right hand corner, at the very top next to the screw hole, you can see a 3 pin system fan header, a memory OK button which allows you to put memory that is normally not allowed for your motherboard such as DDR3 2133 MHz and by pressing that button it will stabilize your RAM and allow you to boot. It also has a DRAM LED which is red letting you know that it is check checking and testing your memory. The switch, as you see right here, the switch with the, uh, let's see if I can do this because I'm recording this on my Galaxy S3, so it may be a little shaky. This switch right here is the EPU switch. You can flip it on or off to TPU or EPU. EPU is for green or uh, energy saving, and TPU is for performance. I normally have it in TPU mode. You can also see there is a 24-pin motherboard connector. Four DDR3 DIMM slots supporting up to 32 gigs of DDR3 at 2133 MHz overclocked, but it does support 1600 MHz uh, natively. If we're going to go down a little bit, you can see there is a USB 3.0 header, another 3 pin system fan header. What I like to call always is the South Bridge, but this is the Z68 chipset heatsink, and the Z68 chipset is right under here. You can see we have eight SATA ports. I believe these two are SATA 6 gigabit per second, run off of an Intel uh, chipset right here, the white ones, or the gray ones. The blue are run off a Marvell chipset, and these four right here are SATA 3 gigabit per second, ran off the Intel chipset. We're going to go a little bit lower. You can see the front panel header, two Firewire headers, three USB 2.0 headers, reset switch. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Power and reset. And that's front panel audio. As you can see, also, I'm going to step out a little bit. We have three PCI Express X16 slots. One of which is wired for X16, which is the top blue slot. The last next two slots are wired for 8X electrically. You also have two PCI Express X1 slots and two regular PCI slots. We're going to go up the board here. I'm going to give you a quick roundabout. I'm going to show you the side here. You can see we have four USB 2.0 Bluetooth. Two more USB 2.0, eSATA USB 2.0, SPDIF out, HDMI, VGA, DVI, Intel Gigabit LAN, two ASMedia USB 3.0 ports, and 7.1, I believe, Realtek channel audio. I'm going to give you a slow view around the board. You can pause at any time. Okay, we're going to let this focus. So here's my, that was my overview of the Z68, excuse me, the P8Z68-V Pro 
motherboard from Asus. The only issue I've had with this motherboard so far is that for some reason it will not take an updated BIOS. But I am currently trying to find a fix for that so I can unlock the overclocking features for this motherboard seeing as for some reason the person I bought it from somehow disabled the overclocking features of this motherboard. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any negative or positive comments in the section below. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Hope you have a good day. This is Anthony signing out.